opportunity to let me minister his word to preach about coming Jesus because the time has come. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to read the book of Matthew. Amen. God bless you, sisters and brothers. We are going to read the book of Matthew 24. Hallelujah. The book of Matthew 24, verse 29. Verse 29. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 29 to verse 31. God bless you. Amen. We are going to read. I know you have your Bible. You are facing me in this YouTube, in this Internet. May God bless you so much, my sister, my brothers. God bless you. Amen. The coming of the Son of Man. I repeat again. The coming of the Son of Man. God bless you. Amen. I read in Jesus' name. So, I read in the name of Jesus. Soon, after the tribulation of those days, the sun will grow dark. The moon will no longer shine. The stars will fall from heaven. And the power in the space will be driven from their causes. 30. Then the thing of the Son of Man will appear in the sky. And all the people of earth will weep and they see the son of the man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. The great trumpet tarum will sound and he will send out his angels to the four corners of the earth and they will gather his chosen people from one end of the world to the other. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. I repeat again. I will read it again so that we can understand clearly what the meaning is. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, I read. The coming of the Son of Man. Okay. I read that is the book of Matthew 24, verse 29 to 31. I read. The coming of the Son of Man. Soon after the throne, after the trap. After the trouble of those days, the sun will grow dark. The moon will no longer shine. The stars will fall from heaven. And the power in space will be driven from their courses. Then the thing of the soul, son of man will appear in the sky. And all the people of earth will weep as they see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and, gl and great glory. The great trumpet will sound and he will send out his angels to the four corners of the earth. And they will gather his chosen people from one end of the world to the other. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. The Lord have allowed me again today to preach this same word. I have been preaching also one time. And um, today I will... Preach it again because the Lord touched me to preach. So, my sisters and my brothers, to talk the truth, it is end time. Let us just talk the truth. It is end time. Because the coming of the Son of Man, it is the time. Yes. There are two ways. The way of heaven and the way of Satan. You see, there are two ways, the way of narrow and the way of hell. So, my sister and my brother, we are asking ourselves, are we ready? Okay, are you ready? Am I ready? Let us be ready by the grace of God. Because I imagine when I read the Bible, I imagine how that day will come. Because when that day comes, it, um, it will be dark, the way the word of God says. It will be dark. Hallelujah. It will be dark. And even the stars will fall down. Amen. Hallelujah. And it will grow dark. Very dark, eh? I'm repeating again, dark. Dark is dark. Because when you go in the night from your house outside, and it is, it is dark, you cannot see the way where you are going. And if that day, all over the world will be dark. Like now daytime, it will start to be dark. You know, we cannot see the front. We have to be scared. Because the Lord say, He said that, when the son of the man come, Amen? When the son of the man come, the people in this world, they, they will weep and they will say, the son of the man is coming. The time has end. But when that time come, are you ready? Yes. When that time come, am I ready? We have to ask ourselves this question because it is so, it is, it is so surprise for those people who are not ready. But the people who are ready, they will sing hallelujah. You know, people will sing hallelujah and say, our father have come. It is end time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And he said that he will send his angel. Every corner, the four corners of the world, he will send his angels to go and to gather those who are chosen. You know, those who are chosen are the children of Jesus, are the children of Christ. Those who are chosen, people 
from one end another wall to the to the what do you say to the other so this is only to remind ourselves are we ready because when the lord will send his angels in those fear corners of the wall are we ready that time you know it is it is it is very surprised if we are not ready because when when the lord sent his angels to gather his chosen and then you are not there and i am not there it will be a very big surprise because you know the angels are going to choose those who they are going to to guard those are chosen so that the devil the satan will not come and commode them and those who are not chosen you know the satan is ready waiting for them hey hey no let us talk the truth because when the time when the time the coming of the son of man soon after the trouble of those days because it will be a trouble day and even the trumpet will blow glorious the stars will fall down the, the, it will be dark eh it will be dark and the lord jesus christ will come glorious and powerful it is wonderful when we see jesus coming glorious and powerful we will celebrate we will be so happy because jesus is lord is only the one who can open that heaven door he has the key of the earth he has the key of the heaven and he's only the one who will open that heaven many people want to see that heaven yeah many people they want to see and many they say they have gone and they have come back and they are preaching amen hallelujah praise the lord and there are some they are desire to enter that kingdom of heaven that is not easy it is not easy it is not easy for us just to enter like that nobody can enter anywhere just like that even if you are going to your workplace you have to prepare yourself even if you want to go to wedding eh you have to prepare yourself you want to go to school you have to prepare yourself you want to go and enter in the bus or in an aeroplane you have to prepare yourself there are some things which you have to prepare them like passports like visa like tickets you are going to school you have to carry your books you have to carry your pen you are going to the office you have to carry your computer you have to carry your your books and if you are going also to the church you have to prepare yourself to look smart to carry your bible hallelujah yes that is it to carry your bible and even to carry water to drink <laughs> because you know when you worship you get those so even to go to heaven we have to prepare ourselves we have to prepare ourselves to enter in that kingdom of heaven we cannot just go like that we have to pray we have to repent we have to worship we have to preach the word of god we have to preach the gospel we have to preach the truth that the messiah is coming we have to tell the people that the messiah is coming so that the people can understand why this world now is kaput this world why this why things are going like this you know many people don't understand why the things are going like this somebody will say i don't know what is wrong what is wrong like now we hear there are some even sickness they call it ebola people don't know even where it come from and they don't even know where it is going hallelujah amen i will be back my sister my brother god bless you